Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we will override class declarations by styling ID attributes. Um, we just proved that browsers read CSS from top to bottom. That means that in the event of conflict, the browser will use whichever CSS selector came last. Um, but we're not done yet. There are other ways that you can override CSS. Uh, do you remember ID attributes? Let's override your pink text and blue text classes and make your H1 element orange by giving the H1 element an ID and then styling that ID. So give your H1 element the ID attribute of orange text. Remember, ID looks like this and it shows the, the H1 and then it has ID equals orange text. Leave blue text and green and pink text in the class um, of the H1 element, meaning don't change this part right here. Create a CSS declaration of for your orange text ID in your style element. Here's an example of what that looks like. You'll notice with the ID that there's an, a pound sign rather than a period. The period is for class, the pound is for ID. Note, it doesn't matter whether you declare your CSS above or below the pink text class since ID attributes will always take precedence. Okay, so that's really interesting. ID takes precedent over class. So in my opinion, we should write the ID in here and then we're going to make this one um, orange text, correct? Okay, great. So I've got the ID written in this orange text, and now we need to write in the orange text um, uh, CSS selector. And we're going to make the color orange. And then if this is right, this should change orange any minute now. You have to spell orange correctly, though. Boom, it's orange. Now this is interesting, it's different than the class selector. So if I move the, uh, if I move the orange text CSS above the rest, it'll still turn orange. So it doesn't have that same style. Why is that? Because ID takes precedence over class. Now generally speaking, we should just use ID on singular elements. You don't wanna use it on multiple ones. So classes are more for like, if you have all your H1 elements, whereas an ID is like this specific one, we want to be orange. And uh, if we run the test, we should pass. Okay, great. And another thing that I just wanted to make a note of is that it doesn't matter if orange text is behind or in front of the class because the orange text just takes, the ID takes precedent over class no matter what. And so ID is, a, is, is your really powerful um, CSS class selector when you wanna make sure that something will turn whichever color is selected with the ID class. And uh, that's it for this one. I hope you guys found this useful. Please let me know in the comment section if there's anything that I can do to help you uh, learn this stuff more in depth. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next. We'll see you in the next lesson.